Okay, hey everyone, Sam here again. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about what studying music has been like, what I've actually learned. When I speak to people about like my transition from medicine to music, people just say, "What? so what do you actually learn um, in music and how is that different from medicine? Um, so yeah, I'll just talk through all the different modules I did, just my general like feelings and observations about, about it, yeah. Um, okay, so firstly, just general observations. Um, in terms of like the difference between, I guess, medicine and music, the biggest thing is just time. Um, so I just had loads of time to, to kind of almost do whatever. Um, obviously, in medicine, you're in every day. Um, well, I was in every day doing placement, so I was um, doing nine to fives and placement and going home and doing some more work. But here, doing music I was basically in like twice in a week or three times in a week at most and essentially I would have two lectures maybe and the rest of the week I just had loads of free time or well, free time but essentially you're supposed to be working on whatever coursework it is or module you're, you should be working on but basically just loads of free time and at first I was a bit a bit weird because I didn't know what to do with myself I just kind of uh First, like for the first few months, I just kind of sat around doing nothing um, and basically enjoyed the free time because obviously I, I hadn't had that in a while. Um, but yeah, so basically the biggest difference is just the free time. Um, and obviously doing a sort of like a creative degree, like music, um, everything was different. It didn't feel like, you know, studying. So in medicine, normally you have to go home, you have to study and you have to like memorize stuff and learn stuff. and music with music i didn't it didn't feel like i had to do that even though it, there were little times that i i had to go learn stuff but there was no i didn't go into the library to go learn like a musical fact it was all about doing and going to the studios or going to your house and producing something or making music so it was just very different basically um in terms of like what we did and i think those are the main differences i, I would say to medicine and music you have loads of time and well for me anyway I found it less intensive than medicine um, in terms of the learning part because I didn't I felt like I was having fun for most of it <laughs> that's weird to say but making music is fun to me um, making listening to facts about music is fun to me um, so it, it didn't feel like too much like mental hassle compared to when you have to like memorize anatomy or or learn an examination or something but yeah that that's what it was like in general observations so what i actually learned about four modules um or you have to pick four modules anyway and my first module was all about film music so we many and every week we learn something about film music and we just had to put that into practice in the session um and we, at the end of the module we had to like compose for short films so one was a short film and one was a game um, trailer, which I, I made music for and I'll put some clips of it if I can. That was pretty cool because I think doing film music is something that I really want to do in the future at some point. Um, so that was really cool to experience. And um, the second module, um, I forget the name of the module, but essentially we had to uh, professionally record and produce um, music for an artist. So my artist was a band and we basically went into a professional studio recorded drums, piano, bass, guitar, and um, vocals. It was a whole semester of trying to learn how to mix and learn how to work in a studio and things like that. 
um, which was a pretty cool experience. Um, I didn't think it was my favorite module. I, I mean, I enjoyed going to do and helping out people and mixing and stuff, but it felt very like mixing engineer kind of job, which is which is fine. But I don't think that is something that I would want to keep doing all the time. Um, but it was pretty cool, it was decent. So the next module, um, it's kind of interesting. So um, it's called collaborative practice, I think. So you have to collaborate with an entity outside the music course um, to create a project. So I wanted to organize a, an event, um, but obviously coronavirus, so that didn't happen. <laughs> So basically for that project, um, what I'm doing is doing like some like an online collaborative project where I get loads of musicians um, outside my uni, just there's different musicians, um, some in my uni actually, um, but not in the music course. Um, and basically they just send me loads of samples of sounds and samples of um, lyrics and things like that. They send it to me, I put them together to make a song, basically. And that, that is one, that is the project I'm doing at the moment, still. And then the last module is called Interactive Sound Environments. And I've saved the best for last. I think it's the best for last. But basically, um, I think I really enjoyed this module. It was like a um, coding module. Essentially, we, we learn a visual coding language called Max and basically use Max to we use Max to learn how to code different sort of like musical effects and um, you can code reverb, delays, you can code um, a drum sequencer. I had loads of fun. I posted it all on my Instagram all the time. It was just so cool to learn how to code something that you see on like your music software and to make that and it just gave me loads of like ideas of stuff I could do. So it also feeds into my um, dissertation because I had to code or I have to create um, um, a musical instrument for someone with a disability and essentially that is a lot of like learning how to do engineering and learning how to do like coding as well so we learned that coding stuff and it's just so cool to me because I, it was very like hands-on we can apply it we saw it work straight away and it was pretty cool and I really enjoyed that much more. and basically from I guess my coursework I'm using basically um, artificial intelligence AI um, to create melodies so basically you tell the computer a certain thing, like I want I want a melody in this key, um, in this tempo, um, with this amount of notes, and basically the computer will just spit out notes for you, melodies for you that actually sound good, um, and that's my coursework, um, and it's cool because I feel like I can you know use that, <laughs> I can create that, even like monetize it, sell it if I wanted to, but it's something I want to have for myself, um, sort of like a parting gift for myself. I already talked about my dissertation, so creating a musical instrument for someone with a disability is so cool because it's actually a real person. I met them in real life and I talked about what they would want and what their limitations are and how I can make a better sort of like keyboard instrument for them. So they spread piano but they can't really anymore because of their disability, so how could I create something for them? That's basically what my dissertation is about. Okay, so in terms of all the musical stuff I did, so just I just I tried to involve myself in a lot of music and um, whilst I was here, so I was involved a lot in the church band, so I played a lot of, a lot of services and like there's also like um, different societies I played the piano for. Um, I got the opportunity to have my first like proper, I guess, bass, bass teacher. Um, he was teaching me some bass and then I also taught people instruments so I taught um, a bit of piano and a bit, and a bit of bass as well and so um, yeah I think those are all like my musical experiences. It's so sad that I'm leaving um, already coronavirus kind of shut everything down straight away so I didn't really get to finish my degree properly. Um, I, well, I didn't really get to like have the full time to finish my degree because everything everything shut down. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. Like, yeah, I think I think that's all in terms of like what the experience has been like. I guess like what Plymouth is like. Plymouth is pretty cool. Um, a nice city. It's quiet. It's like a small town city kind of thing, and it's bad if you don't have friends. So, for the first few months, I found it kind of difficult because I obviously I didn't really know anyone. So. 
there wasn't stuff to do <laughs> I, in, with all my free time as well there wasn't anything to do and so uh, that was kind of difficult just staying at home like being bored watching netflix i started meeting people started joining those different um societies started going out there's some beautiful places in plymouth um and yeah i just met lots of cool people um tried loads of different things and you know did rock climbing for example i never did that in my life but i started doing rock climbing and started doing this weird random stuff um and yeah it's been a pretty cool experience and I think I'm just really happy that I have done this year out, done music as an actual degree. Um, and I'm just, I think I'm just happy for the uh, insight I have into music now. I'm happy that I took a break and I'm kind of ready for medicine again. This whole coronavirus thing has made me want to be a doctor again, just cause I feel like I want to help out people. And it would be kind of cool to, you know, if someone's struggling with breathing something, I, I would, I want to help and just getting back to like medical knowledge um would be kind of cool um i just can't wait to finish my degree because I've, <laughs> I've been in uni for a long time now and i'm trying to be i'm trying to be done now um i think i have experienced a level of freedom here um which means that i want to like taste the freedom after uni basically and just experience that level of freedom have my own sort of like accommodation my own I guess apartment, have a like a job and an income, um, have money. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm I'm happy I have done this degree and I'm so glad I did it in music as well. So I think that's all for this video. If anyone has anything to ask me, just uh, message me. Um, I'll put my details below. Message me on Instagram probably um, about music, about what it's like in Plymouth because it's the only place you can study music from medicine so is there any place you can integrate in music as a medical student any questions don't fail to message me um and i'll i'll try to help out as much as possible um that's all for this video thank you for listening to my <laughs> outflow of information <laughs> um and see you in the next one goodbye